All right, so that lot was $48. I got a Switch Joy-Con red for the right hand in the box. I got a Genesis at Games. Got to test this out. I do have plenty of extra remotes for this, so we'll see how that runs. And I got two PS2 DualShock 2 remotes and that weird Harry Potter thing. Where is it? Hogwarts, I don't know what this is. I gotta look more into this. All right, there's a whole bunch of sales today. Let's see what else there is. I hear you, man. It's one of those things. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That sucks. What's up? Sega Saturn will come tomorrow. That's good. Some Nintendo NES stuff. Same time tomorrow? Yeah, same time. Alright, you got it. So these are individually priced? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But again, this one, there's a Actually, yeah, this one. Uh, this one I'll just put over here. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get these. Those are on the other side. 89, so 100. 100, okay. Hello, brother. How's it even? So, mom will be out here. You're the master because they come out. You got it, man. Alright, $100 lot. It's a big spend, but this Lego alone, I think I could flip it for some good money. So we'll go over all this stuff, quite a lot of stuff here, for $100.
Sunday, I'm back at the sale I was at yesterday, he has different games, so let's see what he's got. I don't even have a, a working game board to play in it. Oh yeah, I sold the other one. Uh, yep. 20... 8, 10 bucks. Alright. So $60 for this bag of stuff. As I said before, right now it's Sunday. The footage you saw before was Saturday. But I came back to this guy because he had his sale again today. Uh, as said, he said he has another sale coming in the near future, probably in a month or so. So we'll see how that goes. How are you? Hey, right, hanging in there. A little warm. Do you have, um, I'm looking for hoodies, large or extra large, or ladies' leggings, large or extra large? Okay. Okay. I'm looking mainly for my wife for a large or extra large. Uh, have any that don't have any patterns or this one, this yes. one? Any other colors? And the gray, yes. Perfect. Yes. Got this one up there. Alright, so that's two. You said these are five each, so five. Ten. Ten. But those 12, what do you get on this? That's a kid's mm -hmm. game. But it doesn't have the wires, you know the wires? Um, Take the... Five. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. So two, 10, 11, 12, and 3? Because right. it's missing all the wires okay. in the parts. Alright, I could do 15. Alright, I got these two hoodies. Five dollars each. One for my wife, one for my daughter. I got this Super Nintendo with no wires, no remotes for three dollars, which was amazing right there. And I got some top loader for sports cars and a free pack of Harley Davidson cards. Those are two dollars.
Hello. Hello. Hmm, I'll do that and a few shirts and pants. There's two pairs here. Sweat, uh, the leggings and hoodie and the board. 150, 150, 150, which is 450, and 3 is 750. All right. I'll give you 8, just keep the change. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey everyone, I'm back. Let's check out the things I found today. Starting off with the clothes. I found two pairs of leggings for my wife, a pair of burgundy sweatpants for my daughter, a light blue hoodie, and a gray hoodie. I also got a crop top for my daughter, this Savage t-shirt for her, and this Minecraft t-shirt for my son. Let's check out some of the awesome things that I found. Okay, at the first yard sale I went to, my usual spot, I found this Harry Potter. It's like a digital photo and print maker. This is made by Zinc. These are pretty obscure. Basically, um, you connect this to your cell phone or tablet and it lets you edit a photo and it makes the photo move and you can print it out. So uh, there's several things you could do with this. It's pretty cool, I got this for five bucks. I also found two PlayStation 2 DualShock 2 remotes. I gotta clean them out and test them out later. These were five each. And I also found, this one was $25. The Joy-Con Red, the Neon Red Remote. This is for the Nintendo Switch, the Joy-Con. I'm sure I've gotta charge this one and I'll test it out later. But I paid about 48 for the bundle total. All right, let's move on. This one I found at a church sale for $3. It's a Pac-Man game. A board game. This 
So this one you could play as Pac-Man and other players could play as Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde and they try to catch you. You roll dice, you collect tokens, and you flip cards and it determines the outcome of the game. So that's pretty cool. Also found this one I got for $20. It's a Lego Monkey Kid set. This is Pig C's Noodle Tank. 662 pieces. This is set number 80026. This one is still sealed and unopened. I got this one for $20. That's pretty cool. Also found at another yard sale, these eight the the lady had a lot more but i got eight hard top loaders for cards any type of card sports cards or whatever and those were a quarter each and she threw in a pack of harley davidson series two cards i don't know the year of these it's not listed so I'll check those cards out down the road I also got uh, two packs of zip ties for 50 cent each. A couple of cool ones here. I got this Mortal Kombat 11 spawn figure in the box. This one, Ultraman, it's a statue by Bandai. Ultraman figure. This is the actual size of the figure. Next up. This figure I got at the Sunday sale from TMNT. Ray Filet with his weapon, the Ray Gill gun. This one was listed for five at the sale, but I got it for three because I got a bundle of other things. This one was made in 2023. I got the Sega Genesis at games console. This one only came with the wires, no remotes, but I do have plenty of remotes. I have at least 10 or more Genesis remotes, so it's no big deal. And I also found at the yard sale where I got the hoodies for $3, a Super Nintendo console. It's yellowed up. I haven't tested it yet. I have to clean it out and see if it works. But it's in pretty... Other than the coloring, it's in pretty good shape. This was originally five. But because it didn't come with any of the hookups or remotes, I got it for $3. That was a steal right there. Happy to have that one. It's probably my best deal of the day right there. I got one music CD. 
Rob Zombie, The Sinister Urge. I got this one for a dollar. Pretty cool. All right, let's check out the games that I found. Starting off with the disc only. Fantavision for the PS2. For the Xbox 360. The Beatles Rock Band. And also for the Xbox 360, Minecraft. These were 50 cents a piece. All right, for the box games, Dead Island, Game of the Year edition for the 360. Complete. For the PlayStation 3, Reflex MX versus ATV. Complete. Infamous two. Resistance to It's just missing the book And army of two greatest hits This one's complete All right, let's check out the older games that I found. First up, this interactive CD sampler pack, volume two for the PlayStation one. I believe I have volume three and four. So I'm definitely keeping this one. It's in pretty good shape. This one was actually free. I was throwing in the deal for free that I got on the Sunday sale. For the Dreamcast, Sega Sports, NBA 2K. This one's pretty cool. I got the instruction booklet for Super Mario Brothers 2. I already have the game loose. Now all I need is the box. That's cool. For the Sega Game Gear. I already have this, but I'll give this one to a friend of mine. Sonic 2. For the NES, Heavy Shredding Snowboarding Video Game. For 
for the Super Nintendo. Road Riot, four wheel drive. I'll give you the prices on everything I spent in a bit, in a minute. NBA Live 96. These next ones are doubles. I bought three sets of doubles. One for me to keep and one for me to sell. NCAA Basketball. College Slam. And Stanley Cup. All right, let's check out the Genesis games. First up for the Sega Genesis. U.S. Gold Presents, Winter Olympic Games. Monopoly. American Gladiators. Mick and Mac as the Global Gladiators. Green Dog. The Beach Surfer Dude. Batman Forever. Echo. The Tides of Time. Williams Arcade's Greatest Hits. Subterranea. Midnight Resistance. Kid Chameleon. This was a pretty nice find. And the only boxed Genesis game that I found. Sports Talk Football 93 starring Joe Montana. This one is complete. I believe I already have this one. I gotta double check, but I don't think I have it boxed. So that's a cool little find right there. All right, let's check out the Nintendo 64 games to conclude the video. First up for N64, NASCAR 99. Twisted Edge, Extreme Snowboarding. A really nice find for me. This completes my trilogy. Turok 2, Seeds of Evil. I have part one and three already, loose. So this completes my trilogy. Happy to have this one. And last game for today. Another great find. Too bad it has some label damage. Pokemon Stadium. This was the most expensive game at the lot, but because I bought so much, I probably got it for maybe 15 or 12, somewhere around there, I don't remember. It's all in the video. So basically those two days, that I went to that guy that had tons of games. I spent 160 total for a majority of all of these games and toys. The other yard sale where I found the Super Nintendo, that was $3. So if you guys enjoyed this content, smash that like button, subscribe to Bird Brain Gaming, leave a comment down below. Any finds here are your favorites. Any of them any good? Ring that bell notification button for alerts on future videos. And I'll see you all next time. Later, everyone.
listen 